Hi there, in this video I'm going to make the spray bar and the needles for the uh, Jerry Howell 2 jet carburetor. Okay so for the spray bar it will be made out of a piece of brass uh, 0.65 of an inch long and uh, in this uh, end here in the centre it will be drilled and tapped to 2 by 56 and this end here it will be uh, drilled um, 25 thou in diameter which is round about 0.6 of a millimeter and uh, through here it will be drilled uh, 18 thou of an inch in diameter now um, for the high speed needle that fits into this um, this would be made out of a uh, mainly a piece of mild steel I've made some uh, sort of brash knurled sort of heads here already and uh, this will be um, threaded 2 by 56 and on this end here which is a uh, sort of a length of 0.2 of an inch it goes from uh, an outside diameter here of 40 thou down to a point so I've worked out that the sign the the, the angle here straight through the middle is going to be um, 0 0.02 divided by 0 0.2 which gives 5.74 degrees so I need to um, change my compound slide I need to set it to that and the uh, idle speed needle is very very similar uh, design to the high speed needle but if you recall the jet that I made for this um, is one millimeter in diameter because I struggled with getting the right uh, sort of diameter at such a depth so um, I've, I'm changing the design slightly so for the high speed needle this outside diameter of the taper will end up being 0 0.06 of an inch uh, so that gives a sign of this or this angle here uh, of the tip uh, is going to be uh, 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.2 and that gives 8.63 degrees so when I come to machine that I need to change the compound slide to that setting so to set the compound slide to 5.74 degrees on the lathe what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a chuck up with um, a dead centre in it and a, a dead straight bar going to a dead centre in the tailstock I'm going to run the compound slide um, sorry I'm going to run the uh, carriage down with a gauge on it to check that that's straight once I've done that uh, I plan to um, change the angle on the compound slide and if I get this angle right 5.74 degrees I, I can work out the distance this is going to reduce if I move this the compound slide in by 5 millimeters and that works out um, as sine of 5.74 degrees is equal to x over the length that I'm moving it so 5 millimeters so um, x turns out to be 0.5 of a millimeter or just over I think which is equal to just under 20 thou Okay, so having gone over to the lathe, I realise now that the compound slide doesn't need to be pointing in, but it needs to be pointing outwards. Um, so I've uh, made various adjustments and uh, checked it quite a few times, and I think I'm pretty close. So I've uh, set the dials, uh, this dial on zero, dial gauge on zero, and if I withdraw the compound slide this way um, by five millimetres, I will hopefully on the gauge get... Uh, 0.0197 or thereabouts. One, two, three, four. That's pretty close.
So I've adjusted the tool height ever so slightly, now we'll give it another pass. I've done a bit more work with the wet and dry and it's uh, quite a sharp point is that and quite a nice taper. Now 0.2 of an inch in that, that uh, diameter there should measure uh, 40 thou and it's coming in just over 40 thou so I'm pretty close to where I want to be I think. I'll do a bit more work on it and then I'll uh, start working on the uh, threaded bit. So I need to get this down to about 86 thou in diameter. So I've just put a blob of this solder paint on it. Well that's one down and seven more to go but uh, before doing any more of them I think I'll uh, have a go at making this spray bar just to make sure everything fits nicely together. Okay so I've uh, turned the outside diameter of this brass down to 0.156 of an inch in diameter and uh, I now need to drill to a depth of uh, 0.53 of an inch which is 13.46 uh, millimeters uh, with this 0 0.07 drill bit. Now I'm going to tap this 256 but I'll uh, do that off camera. So I've decided to drill the hole from the other side although the instructions don't say that. So I've uh, switched it round in the chuck, cut it down to size, I've uh, done a little centre drill and now I'm going to drill uh, through to the bigger hole with this uh, 0.6 of a millimetre drill bit and I'm using my little micro drill attachment. Easy done. And here I've just drilled through with a um, 0.5mm drill bit using my uh, special little uh, micro drill. Uh, in theory it should be 18 thou but I've not got an 18 thou drill bit so that will have to do. So for the idle speed needle I've decided to uh, machine it at the same angle as the high speed needle so that's uh, 
5.74 degrees or thereabouts um, but with this needle needing to be slightly uh, thicker I've uh, used wet and dry but not taken it down to such a fine point and as you can see the, the hull for the jet is uh, actually one millimeter so that's around about 40 thou which is what these uh, calipers are set to and uh, you can see there that 40 thou it's just at that position there so I think we'll be okay so this is a high speed needle and for some reason it's ended up a bit shorter than uh, the drawing so I don't know what's happened there but fingers crossed we'll be okay and you can see the difference here between the idle speed needle which is a bit sort of less pointy and uh, the high speed needle goes into the spray bar and I've checked this with uh, sort of blowing air through it and it does actually seal and uh, I've put a flat on there so that goes let me see in there with this screw here going onto the flat obviously that needs tightening up it's a bit difficult getting in there with the camera and uh, this is the idle speed needle which goes in there so I think I've got a result there not too sure how, how I managed to get that shorter than the drawing though so I might have to uh, remake that well I've got to make three more anyway haven't I um, so uh, I think it's looking good so far well I must say I'm really happy with the way the uh, needles have turned out it wasn't as uh, difficult as I thought it might be and uh, not too sure why the high speed needle is shorter than what it should be but it does actually uh, function correctly um, so it is long enough to actually uh, close the jet so uh, fingers crossed we'll be okay um, so uh, I think the next video it will be just a few bits and bobs and maybe testing it out I'm not too sure but anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope to see you later